be nervous. Don't be nervous. Just remember, when they come in, just act like you're confident. Just pretend that you're not frightened to talk in front of groups of people. Just remember, you'll be all right. And remember, when you get home, Game of Thrones will be on, so it'll be, it'll be okay. You can kind of forget the world that you live in. And... Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. It is important that I go over the rules before we start, so everybody needs to pay attention. Rule number one. No one talks about Fight Club. Have we got it? Rule number two. Sounds a lot like rule number one. No one talks about Fight Club. Rule number three. If anybody taps out, goes limp, goes unconscious or dies, the fight is over. We do have honor code here, gentlemen. We've got to pay attention to the honor code. Rule number four. There are two to a fight. Only two to a fight. Any more than that becomes a group project. We know how group projects work here. One nerdy kid does all the work. Everybody else gets the credit for it. Everybody gets the grade. It's nonsense. So you don't really learn anything anyways. Rule number five. One fight at a time. We used to do more than one fight at a time. They got real noisy and they complained from after school testing. It's a little too noisy over here. Rule number six. Nice shirts. Nice shoes. Dress code, people. This is not casual fight club, all right? Dress code. Rule number seven, the fights go on as long as they have to. They don't end until they end our 3.30 hits when Mr. Keith rounds us all up and brings us on down to the library under the track. Rule number eight, if this is your first time at Fight Club, you will fight today. It's not a varsity sport, it's like a Jake sport. Everybody plays in every contest, you got me? Last thing I want you to know, if you break any of these rules, it's gonna be a riot. The first time it's probably gonna be a lunch attention, second time, two lunch attentions, third time after school, and then if they break it a fourth time, we give you a Saturday. And then everybody beats you up. It's fun. Gentlemen, are we ready to start? I am. Now it's time for Teacher Fight Club. And now for the contestants. Our first contestant, he's six foot two, very thin, and he likes to watch pendulum spin. He weighs in at one new turn. That's right, folks. Mike. The bean pole Arnie. I will force my accelerating fists into your mouth. He's big and bad. He never gets mad. He's five foot ten. Dean the Beast Rhodes. I am the Colossus at Rhodes. Gentlemen, he's bald and he's wise and he rocks the coolest bow ties. He's five foot eight, but metaphorically a heavyweight. Robbie the Business Board. The mighty samurai never falters. He knows when to attack, when to defend, and when to kick some butt. He's not the top dog, but he is the big cat. Don't try to change his schedule, he ain't got no time for that. He's five foot ten. The force is strong with him. Mr. Dr. Sensor Mike Vigers. I'm much too busy for this. Not really sure what that was, but Mike Vigers. The first fight is between Dr. Borth and the Dean, Paul Rhodes. Hello, Dean. It seems that you are but a symbol for all the obstacles I must face in life. In fact, the horns on your helmet are a metonymy for course. Time for the fight. Nobody's survived a blow from Musashi's Book of Five Rings. I'm gonna Thomas splice you in half. Oh! oh dear, it's time to dash! We have a winner, gentlemen. Round one winner, Mr. Dean Rhodes. 
Next fight, Mike Arney, Bean Paul, and the Dean Rhodes. <laughs> Mike Arney, pathetic. I put the chaos in chaos theory. Ah! <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. My hat! Where's my hat? Here comes 20,000 Newtons of force! <laughs> I have conquered the Colossus at Rhodes. And a surprise all the way down from Minnesota, the bean pole, Mr. Arnie. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to need you to calm down. Everybody line up for me. Monsieur Legu, I need you to stop touching him, please. Mr. Heron, quit it. Okay, is everybody ready? I'm going to give you, this, I'm going to give you the, the, the word. You're going to get your chance to try to knock him down. <laughs> if you can, because listen to me. You're going to need to welcome the big guns. Floats like a butterfly. Stings like a foreign language oral. The king of the ring. Dr. V. try to trick me with his footwork. I'm going to take his derivative and integrate him right out of this. Oh, Mr. Arnie, he's going to try to trick me with his physics fancy fists. I'm going to take him and put him on the next tangent slope to the ground. Darcy, slow but wise. I can't underestimate her power. She's a Yoda. Aha, George. I know. You're going to try to predict my moves. But you will find out why they call me Yoda. Okay, George. Prepare to feel the force. Surrender now, George! Ha uh ha, -huh, Darcy! You're not the only one who can use the Force. been kicking butt for years. But you did a good job, I gotta say. Pound it. <laughs> <laughs>